So for this tutorial, it's pretty easy. You want to fold the fabric in half along the length. Then you want to fold again along the width. So at the bottom edge, you want to slip one blade of the scissors between a layer of the second fold and cut along the outer layer right up to the corner point. So I'm going to demonstrate this steps again on a piece of paper. So all you want to do is fold along the length and along the width. And I do suggest practicing on a piece of paper so that you won't mess up your official fabric. And you can see on this corner edge is where I want to be cutting it out all the way to the top. And now this is your center front and once you have cut it out it should look like this. Now it's time to cut it at an angle. There is a little math to making your points for the angle, so I'm going to leave that formula in the description bar and you can just follow along and plug in your measurements. So once you have made those two points, you just want to connect the dots and cut along the edge. Once you have cut along the edge, it should look like this. You can see here how my fabric is cut along the edge and my paper. From the outer edge, you want to measure and mark about 9 inches along the top edge and make a little notch at the fabric so you can mark your points. You want to cut along the top edge fold, cutting through all the layers from the edge to the notch. This is going to be your armholes. You want to unfold the fabric and open each armhole slit out so that the edges lie on a straight line. And you want to hem the armhole using a road hem. You also want to hem the center front of your cardigan using a road hem as well but I just fold in twice and stitched along the edge. And for the outer part of your cardigan, you can do a French seam. That would be sewing on the wrong side and then sewing on the right side. But for me, I just put right sides together and sew along the edge and use an overlock. But the French seam is really good to use if you don't have an overlock. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description box below. And I'll see you next week for a new video. Bye.